بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello everyone I hope you and your family uh, so good uh, Part 3 Unit 7 uh, We have here the speaking Talking about my life Okay, exercise 1 Work with a partner Freddy Is it a party talking to Alisa Look at Friday's question Use the notes in Alisa answer What did she say? Okay بعدنا هنا type script 7.6 Listen and compare فراح نستمع لل type script Tape script 7.6 Alisa's life You aren't English, are you, Elisa? Where are you from? No, I'm Russian. I was born in St. Petersburg. Is that where you grew up? Yes, I lived with my parents and two sisters in a house near the university. My father worked at the university. Oh, how interesting. What was his job? Was he a teacher? Yes, he was a professor of psychology. Really? And what did your mother do? She was a doctor. She worked in a hospital. So, where did you go to school? I went to a Catholic high school. I was there for 10 years. Then, when I was 18, I went to university. What did you study? I studied philosophy and education at the university in Moscow. Mm. I was there for four years. Wow. And did you start work after that? No, I traveled in the States for six months. I worked in a summer camp near Yellowstone National Park. It was amazing. It sounds great. And what's your job now? I work in a junior high school in Paris. I teach Russian and English. Your English is really good. Well, it was very nice to meet you, Elisa. Nice to meet you too. Bye. Okay, I think it is clear. Okay, number two, uh, practice the conversation with a partner, swap roles, and practice again. Uh, number three, uh, طبعا هنا يقصد بها تبادل آراء أو الأفكار هاي ترجمتها swap roles. Okay, uh, number three, uh, make some notes about your own life story. Number four, work in a groups, tell each other your life. Stories, ask and answer question. واعتقد هو منط هنا ن ال الأسئلة. What do you? How long? How do you? فهاي عندنا الأسئلة. احتمال إن شاء الله نتفق إن عليهم. سوي حضوري وسوف دي conversation معينة بيناتكم. فعلى مود هاي الرهبة والخوف بس ما أعتقد موجودة بعد عندكم هاي الرهبة والخوف لأن ما شاء الله أنتم قاعد كلكم تحكون إنجليزي بصورة جدا حلوة سواء كان من خلال المقاطع الصوتية اللي يديها لكم وتسمعونها وتحكونها أو من خلال القطع اللي هي اللي قاعد أعطيكم إياها كهوم ورك فبس رغم هذا إن شاء الله نتفق إن علي يوم نجي للشركة بي نسوي بيه في المحادثات معينة على مود بعد اي رهبة اي خوف ما راح يكون عندكم مستعدين انتم لاي شيء تمام فان شاء الله هذا التمرين انا راح اخليه يعني ببالي ونتفق عليه يوم بالشركة على العموم فهسه راح نستمع لتايب سكريبت 7.6 مرة الثانية على مود نشيك هاي الاسئلة مالته اوكي طبعا احنا نذكرين هوم ورك تايب سكريبت 7.6 اليسا's لايف you aren't English, are you, Elisa? Where are you from? No, I'm Russian. I was born in St. Petersburg. Is that where you grew up? Yes, I lived with my parents and two sisters in a house near the university. My father worked at the university. Oh, how interesting. What was his job? Was he a teacher? Yes, he was a professor of psychology. Really? And what did your mother do? She was a doctor. She worked in a hospital. So, where did you go to school? I went to a Catholic high school. 
I was there for 10 years, then when I was 18, I went to university. What did you study? I studied philosophy and education at university in Moscow. Mm. I was there for four years. Wow. And did you start work after that? No, I traveled in the States for six months. I worked in a summer camp near Yellowstone National Park. It was amazing. It sounds great. And what's your job now? I work in a junior high school in Paris. I teach Russian and English. Your English is really good. Well, it was very nice to meet you, Elisa. Nice to meet you too. Bye. Okay. So, please try to prepare for practicing this conversation just like uh, just like uh, this conversation with your partner give an answer such as a question okay uh, about your life story يعني تحاول ان شاء الله تطلع اسئله واجوبها عن حياتك باستخدام هذه الاسئله او الاسك تمام نفس ما قلت لكم هذا ايضا هوم ورك the next page reading and speaking so we will have today some topic okay uh, to talk about uh, reading first reading and speaking and then we will continue for the uh, practice اللي هو معناتها ال N16 years okay and also the we have the first man on the moon in 1969 أول رجل يعني صعد إلى القمر في 1969 Uh, for this text okay so first uh, let me run to the type script for this uh, text uh, plans to okay there there are just 16 years between the first in 1909 the first air journey <coughs> في عام 1909 let's found out guys what's about this journey okay this is the text please listen carefully and I will ask you some a question or exercise for this okay The first air journey. On July the 25th, 1909, a Frenchman, Louis Blériot, became the first man to complete an air journey when he flew from Calais in the north of France to Dover in the south of England. Blériot's flight amazed the whole of Europe. People thought that such a journey was impossible. The flight the flight wasn't easy. Mr. Blayo, a 37-year-old engineer, couldn't swim, so he didn't want to come down in the channel. He couldn't walk very well because of an injury to his leg, and he didn't have a compass. On the morning of the 25th, he took off at 4.30 from a field at the edge of a cliff. It took 37 minutes to complete the 22-mile journey. The plane flew at 40 miles per hour at an altitude of 250 feet. Everything went well until he flew into fog. I continued flying for 10 minutes, but I couldn't see the land. 
only the sky and the sea. It was the most dangerous part of the flight. I wasn't worried about the machine. It flew beautifully. Finally, I saw the land, he told reporters. Landing in England. When he got to Dover, he saw a French journalist waving a flag. He cut the engine at 60 feet and crashed into a field. The news quickly went round the world, and Mr. Blayo's flight was celebrated in London and Paris. He won a prize of a thousand pounds. The crossing was the start of modern aviation, said Louis Blériot, the grandson of the pioneer. Okay. So, guys, uh, back to the exercise. Okay. We have here number one. Look at the pictures. Who are the man? Okay. What did they do? When did they do it? So the most important thing I will ask you through the WhatsApp. Okay. يعني إن شاء الله أنا هاي القطعة جدا حلوة جدا مهمة راح نتناقش بيها ونقرأها ونعرف كل الأسئلة حولها تمام نمبر تو وي هاف هير ريد ذا تايتلز وات ووز فينومينال اوكي ثري Exercise three, work in two groups. A group A, read about the first air journey. A group B, read about the first man on the moon. راح نستمع أيضا ال type script حول أول شخص على ذهب إلى القمر. The first man on the moon. On the 16th of July, 1969, at 9.30 in the morning, Apollo 11 lifted off from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. There were three astronauts, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. The enormous rocket took three days to complete the 250,000 miles to the moon, traveling at six miles per second, 21,600 miles an hour. Then it circled the moon 30 times, giving time to prepare for the landing. The lunar landing. The lunar module landed on a part of the moon called the Sea of Tranquility at 8.17 in the evening on the 20th of July. It was time for the astronauts to rest, but they were too excited to sleep. At 3 o'clock in the morning on July the 21st, Neil Armstrong became the first man to walk on the moon. 600 million people all over the world watched on TV. As Armstrong took his first steps, he said the famous words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Walking on the moon. Armstrong and Aldrin spent two and a half hours walking on the moon. They collected samples and set up scientific equipment. Finally, they put up a U.S. flag. After 22 hours on the moon, the lunar module lifted off and flew up to join the rocket that took them back to Earth. They left an inscription. Here, men from the planet Earth first set foot upon the moon, July 1969. We came in peace for all mankind. This flight was the beginning of man's exploration of space. Okay, I think now everything uh, clear. So uh, let's back to the exercise. We have 
رقم واحد واثنين وثلاثة راح يكون هوم ورك وراح الان اللي اسالكم به بحكم اللي احنا بالواتساب فهاي الاسئلة كلها تقرون التكست مال مال اول اول طير اول طيران وكذلك مال اول رجل يذهب للقمر هاي الاسئلة كلها راح انا اسالها لكم بالواتساب اضافة الى انتم تحلون تدزوا لي اياها انا راح اسالكم اوكي بالنسبة للتمرين الرابع اتركوه ما له اي داعي يعني انا احتاج لحضوري نفس ما متفقين وياكم اه اكسرسايز 5 ووك وذ اب وذ سي بارتنر لوك اجين ات ذا تكست اند انسر ذا كويستشن هاي ايضا اسئلة اه اريدكم تبحثون عن الاجوبة مالتها وايضا راح اه اسالكم بهن تمام بالاضافة الى انه انتم لازم تقرون التكست كله اوكي اوكي اكسرسايز 6 فاند ذا نمبر ان ذا تكست وات دو ذي ريفير تو ايش يعني ايش يشير المن هاي بخصوص التمرين مال سبيكينج فعندنا هنا التايب سكريبت 7.7 ليسن اند تشيك راح نستمع للتايب سكريبت وايضا هذا التمرين هوم وير واجب بيتي تمام Tape script 7.7. In 1909, Blerio made the first air journey from Calais to Dover. Blerio was just 37 years old when he flew across the channel. It took him just 37 minutes. He took off from France at 4.30 in the morning. He flew his plane at 40 miles per hour. He flew at 250 feet above the sea. He won a prize of 1,000 pounds. In 1969, Neil Armstrong became the first man to walk on the moon. Three astronauts flew in Apollo 11. The rocket took three days to get to the moon. It circled the moon 30 times. It landed at 8.17 a.m. on the 20th of July 1969. 600 million people watched on TV. Neil Armstrong said, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The astronauts spent 22 hours on the moon. Okay. شكرا للاستماع وشكرا للمتابعة. أعتقد حتى الفيديو صار 18 دقيقة. لكن لا بس هذا المحاضرة هذا اليوم جدا جميلة وان شاء الله نتناقشها في الواتساب شوفكم خير في امان الله